Hello, my name is Dr Andrew Hodson, I'm a GP in Brighton and I am Clinical Chair of Brighton & Hove Clinical Commissioning Group. Hello there, my name is Dr Laura Hill and I am the Clinical Chair of NHS West Sussex Clinical Commissioning Group. Hello, I'm uh, Dr David Warden, I'm a GP in Bexhill on Sea, but from the beginning of April I have also been become the Clinical Chair of the East Sussex Clinical Commissioning Group. The COVID-19 Community Connectors team is working to get the right information to our people and communities across Sussex. To support our communities during this time, the Community Connectors have produced answers to some of the top questions being asked by our public, Health Watch and voluntary and community organisations. We have received so many questions, lots about accessing NHS services during this time. Uh, all great questions. I'm going to talk through some of the answers now. Things are different in general practice and the driver behind all of this is to keep our patients safe, to keep our staff safe and to make sure the patients are seen in the most appropriate way. If you need a GP appointment, please contact your surgery as normal and do not visit the practice unless specifically told to do so following an initial assessment. You'll be asked to give as detailed and accurate description of your symptoms as you can. Uh, this is really important to ensure you achieve the most appropriate treatment. You might not be seen at your usual surgery, but following your assessment, you will be directed to a specific safe site locally to best deal with your health needs in the safest way. This is a national um, way of doing things, so we're making sure that patients are seen in the safest place uh, and that proper infection control goes on within those hot sites and they're deep cleaned and disinfected at the end of every day uh, and made sure that they're as safe as possible for patients. Um, but uh, if you need to be seen for non-COVID symptoms, general practice will still be able to see you at their practice if they can't make that full clinical assessment over the phone or using a video consultation. Anyone can register at a GP practice as long as it has the capacity to take new patients and you live within the practice boundary. Practices will continue to register all patients, including those with no fixed address, people who are seeking asylum, refugees and those who don't have photo identification. It may be that that practice um, asks you to apply either online or remotely, but the details for that should be on the practice website or if you ring the practice they should be able to give you details because that will be specific to that practice as to how they want to do that registration without necessarily bringing you into the practice. Sussex NHS Commissioners have implemented a video relay service for telephone appointments in every GP practice. This means deaf patients across Sussex will now be able to call their registered practice for free using the standard telephone number, speak with receptionists and book a telephone appointment with a GP just as a hearing person can. An NHS 111 British Sign Language service is also available. Of course, your GP will still refer you. Many of those referrals, though, are being held until the pressure on the NHS lessens. All referrals will be looked at by a clinician and they're reviewed for urgency. And then you should hear directly from the hospital about your appointment. You don't need to go back and see your GP unless your condition deteriorates. Infection control measures set by government experts will be followed at all hospital sites and patients can be reassured of their safety if they are referred to the hospital. So if, you, if you're worried that your symptoms might be due to cancer, you should still contact your GP in the usual way. And if after that assessment, the GP uh, feels that you uh, need to be seen for these symptoms, then you will still be referred under the so-called two week rule and seen within that period of time um, to start off um, to check whether these symptoms are could, could be due to cancer. So that's uh, an important part that um, is still carrying on despite um, the COVID crisis. Repeat prescriptions are still available as usual. It is important to only request your medicines when they're running low, as you usually would. Ordering medicines too early or ordering more than usual can lead to fewer medicines in the system and potentially shortages for others. 
we are asking people to uh, order through the online service from their, within their GP practice. Um, and this can take the form of either the prescription ordering direct service um, or the practice's own um, repeat uh, prescribing service. Usually take a GP practice three or four working days to get that repeat prescription to the uh, pharmacy. People are feeling lonely, anxious, worried, and wondering if there's any support for this. And the answer is yes, we do have um, some support for this. Uh, NHS Every Mind Matters uh, is a service that's provided free. And if you search Every Mind Matters, you'll be put through to the website or there's a link below this video. And that can link you in and give you an action plan around how to keep yourself uh, well mentally uh, and to keep yourself um, resilient during this difficult time. Community hubs have been launched in each local authority area across Sussex and offer additional help in coping with coronavirus. The community hubs help people who do not have an extreme medical condition but may be vulnerable because they are isolated from help, too unwell to buy food or have other pressing difficulties because of coronavirus. Community hubs also provide a place for people to find out about volunteering order opportunities. So you can, you can request support for yourself or on behalf of someone else um, using the details again posted below this video. The COVID-19 Community Connectors team are here to help make sure you and the people you help and support get the information and support needed. Please do contact the team using the contact details below this video.